second story called Sun Through the Storm. Tarlantipon, age 17, had the stain of quarter strings of a Christian girl at St. Luke High School. Her younger brother Robbie was the golden boy, both at home and at school. The girls loved him but, and hated Caroline because she was different from her Christian family. Caroline wanted to follow her rebel boyfriend's dark side. Both Robbie and her father Caden disapproved of the outcast. Caroline was enraged at being separated from the rebellious outcast she loved. She hated that separation so much, she realized she'll never live up to her family's standards. So she wanted to live with Mitchell. She did. Caroline and Mitchell decided to live together at Mitchell's house with a friend who was a fellow outcast. The three have been bullying a lot of people. Caroline liked, liked it at first. Love had love and Mitchell blinded her. However, when she tried to steal from a clothing store, the person she thought was a customer was an under, undercover police officer. Caroline Mitchell and the outcast were arrested. Spending a week in jail, Caroline and Mitchell were back in school with one condition. They must join a school club and keep up with their studies. Mitchell detests extracurricular activities. But Principal Faye disagreed and separates him and Caroline, who was, never told, who was told never to see him again. Caroline reluctantly agreed to choose a, choose a club that she should know best, Drama Club. Though she likes theater, Caroline does not want, her, not want to show her acting talent. Thus, she doesn't want Mitchell to know, let alone anyone else. Caroline dreams of being an actress, but felt her Christian upbringing is keeping her from achieving her dream. Caroline thought everyone would laugh at her, but hopes, it hopes to be famous to please Mitchell. When Caroline enters the oratorium, her life began to change. She saw a young man, age 17, who played the piano and sung Rewrite the Stars from the Greatest Showman. He has a natural talent for theater, Caroline didn't know him at all. So, sorry, sorry about the summer. She didn't know that she, she was watched from afar alone. As she was finishing this, as he was finishing the song, the boy saw her. His name is Olivier Darcycourt. Caroline was shocked at his glance that she ran away. Did she, did she just attract Olivier? Caroline didn't join a drama club to impress some boy. She had Mitchell. Caroline hid until the next class, but it was too late. Olivier grabbed Caroline's hand to stop her. What do you want? Caroline asked. I'm sorry, Olivier apologized to Caroline as he explained. I was singing when I saw you. Caroline breaks Olivier's grip and said, Look, I don't want to be sorry. I only came here to cope. Are you in a drama club? Yes, I'm doing this in hopes to be famous so I can impress my boyfriend. But why? My father and brother hated him? I can't be with him because of God. Are you sure? Yes. I don't believe you. You're lying to run away from God to oppress a boy who doesn't care about you. Caroline was shocked. Mitchell knew about your dreams just to ruin your family's faith. Caroline wanted to be the perfect girlfriend for Mitchell, but that doesn't mean she wanted to part him before her family. She wanted that lifestyle free of Christianity. Olivier felt guilty that he wanted to make a statement. I'm sorry. Olivier apologized again to Caroline. I don't believe you because Mitchell was affecting you. I should have, I should have stuck, stuck my nose in your business, but... Caroline was still ruminating about the 
the shop living incident and separation. Then that statement reminded her of her father's servants. One of them was about Lot's wife, who turned her back for her riches and turned into salt. Caroline, are you okay? shook her head and said, yeah, I'm fine. It's just that no one saw, that no one saw right through me. No wonder Mitchell can't see me like that. I'm blind. You're not blind. Just lost. God sees right through you. We don't have to you run away from God. I see. You want to stay with me? Yes. Caroline joined Olivier in her part of Rewrite the Stars as she bonded, as she bonded with Olivier. She was very aware, aware now about Mitchell, that everyone was right about Mitchell. Caroline was blinded by the storm that, who doesn't love her, but, but God and Olivier restored her. Caroline decided to follow her dreams, but she never wanted to see Mitchell again. God has cleared her heart. He wants to restore the sunlight that's inside of her. Hey, that was my flash fiction. I hope.